Hello, my lovely YouTubers. It is Loquacious One. I'm back at um, my affordable gift presentation haul. I am showing you ways that I affordably do gift presentations without breaking the bank. Okay, uh, a lot of my ideals and inspirations come from what I see that is currently trending, but also the majority of it is what I hauled from the previous year. So this is for inspiration, mainly that I'm showing you um, how to collect items, theme items together in like groups, so you can do kind of unique or different gift presentations at affordable price point. I think nothing is greater than a great gift wrapped or presented it just shows the anticipation of the gift inside so even if you give a just so-so gift I think a awesome presentation will just make it just so much more appreciated because you took time to present it to the person okay so today's haul will be boxes that I got from the Dollar General and the Dollar Tree. Okay. Some of these are current. And some of these are things that I purchased. Last year at Clarence. Okay. The first box I'm going to show you are from Dollar General. And these little boxes right here. I think they're just awesome. It says mistletoe. And it has a message on it. It says fresh pick mistletoe. Kisses for free. And it's an awesome well made constructive box and what I like even more it's only one dollar dollar general has by far the best boxes they go pretty quickly um, when I went back most of them were gone because the price point is just awesome and it constructed so well you can even use these for decor items this one says hot cocoa served here and this one was two dollars and these boxes are great, like I said, for gift presentation as well as home decor. And I simply store my hot cocoa items in these boxes. The next boxes I got are from Dollar Tree. I got them last year at clearance. They're regularly a dollar, so I got them for 50 cents. I should have got more, but couldn't think of why I should. But I use them for home decor. These around this one says the gift tag is just awesome. Do not open until December 25th to and from. You can still find these boxes in some stores. I think they're last year's stock is why you see them, but I can't necessarily guarantee that you will find them absolutely well made. And this one, awesome red and white twine string tie with a beautiful tree um, gift tag, craft paper top. This is Merry and Bright. Great deal. And this should be over here. And this one here is a plaid twine string. The Christmas tree tag. And that is awesome as well. And this one also says do not open to Christmas. And it's in a red and white stripe. Then here from the Dollar Tree. Again, I got these last year at clearance. You will find some of these in scattered Dollar Trees. I think they're probably just left over from last year. But you can see the plaids are awesome with the burlap uh, ribbon. And then the buffalo check, which I love. The black and white and red, which is so on point. As well as the tan, green, uh, white, and black. And they were a dollar. Again, I'm using these as presentation in my uh, kitchen decor because I have a rustic cabin, woodland type of thing going on. And also at the Dollar General, they had this decorative ribbon for $2. It's 9 feet long, 2.5 inches wide, and it's in a buffalo check. Now, just showing you some random items. I found this, and this was like $0.25. Cent. I got it after clearance at Dollar General. And it is a 25 days to Christmas calendar. And it's magnetic and it sticks on the refrigerator. And it allows me to make my little notes. 
excuse me sorry about that and for 25 cents I also found these um, home, holiday style canning label stickers 14 counts and it says eat drink and be merry joy happy holidays bake with love cheer sugar and spice I'm going to see if there was any more yeah, they're pretty much the same throughout, but they're 14 counts. This is good for when you present food as a gift, and they were 25 cents. And think about it, you save 75 cents per pack for these things that are really just for, what, one month. Uh, buy your tags, ribbons, bows, uh, things like that uh, after Christmas, if you can. This is by Holiday Style. It's a character craft kit. It makes one. Um, you could just take a mason jar and do it up like this and give it as a gift presentation. This was 25 cents. So for my baked goods, this adds to the presentation. And next, I got this one. And it's a recipe card tag. It's six of them with twine. And, um, on the back is the recipe card so you can make them one of those jar recipes and it says handmade with love from and the recipe card is on here also and you can tell them how they can make it themselves like this is good for brownie mixes hot cocoa mixes things of that nature and that was 25 cents and the last one is the recipe card with twigs with twine I'm sorry it says spreading Christmas cheer and it has a recipe card also, and this was $0.25. Cent. So, for $1.25, I got a lot of novelty items that psh, I would have spent a dollar, what, one, two, three, four, five, five dollars for this had I just bought it when it was, you know, out there. I got this for $1.25. You see how you say the uh, Buffalo um, check ribbon is a little bit harder because it is a trending item it's popular so it will go fast I did get these boxes um, at clearance but they might have some still I use these for decor as well as this those are for Dollar Tree and these this is from Dollar General they're current if you could find them awesome well made good for decor or food like yes Okay, and we're going to go next to just the general uh, gifting boxes. Okay, folks, continuing on with theme Christmas, how you can do uh, unique, different presentations for well up under a dollar. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money because, let's face it, gift wrap is expensive, you know. And if you're like time log like me, you don't always have the time. Well, again, trusting my old Dollar Tree, Dollar General, I found this box right here. It's really unique, and it is a Dollar Tree brand. They had several, but these are also well-made and sturdy inside and out. They came up on their boxes. I like these rustic woodland theme boxes. That they have out now that's one thing they did improve on and they also had this is a log cabin with the frosted roof evergreen trees and look at the plaid lettering I love the fonts on these and this is the little gingerbread woman with the cane and it has peppermints and the sweater now if you were following my videos I did get a Santa cookie, played a mug, and it looked like this. You can, it's the gingerbread man, but you can kind of theme these together in a gift basket, I think. Dollar Tree has so many wonderful items, I think, that were trending. Excuse me for moving the camera. As well as they have these wonderful, what I call Santa Claus mailboxes. Um, and it has Merry Christmas, December 25th, Santa approved. I think this was one of the more, more you know, um, classic designs that look really well and of course you can put up the little flag I thought that was really cute to put gifts in especially if you do a food type gift related item another box they had again and I like the way this opens for a gift and it has the little hot cocoa mugs 
Wishing you a cozy holiday. And this went with the mugs they had that said Cup of Cheer. I wish I had them um, available, but I put them up. And you can put that mug with this box. If you look, they had awesome gifts for cups. The cups and the boxes were great this year. And this was from um, Dollar Tree. Just want to make sure. So all the boxes were from Dollar Tree. I also got this from Dollar Tree. It is this beautiful red and green plaid and a solid green uh, decorative tissue paper. It's eight sheets by Christmas House. And again, I found this red and white fuzzy sweater bag. And this is good for DIYing. If you want to do a picture, you can do it with that. I have a throw and a pillow that matches this. So this is a awesome, awesome deal. And last year they had it, and I got um, two or three of them last year. They also had it in blue and white, but I didn't see it. I don't know if this is left over from last year or what. I really couldn't tell you. But that was from Dollar Tree also. Also from Dollar Tree, they have these jewelry boxes. It's a three count. And I think this is just awesome for putting your little watch. If you want to give a watch or a necklace or a small ring. I think it is so cute. And you can see on here how that fits in. And a good themed. Okay. And I bought this gift, gift tag by Christmas. House is 25 counts. I think these are just really well made. And I like the print on them. And it says, Merry Christmas, Winter Wishes, Let It Snow, Merry and Bright, Holly Jolly. And these are awesome, I think, to go with this kind of rustic winter forest, cabinetry, woodland theme. And last but not least, these bags came from Dollar General. I think they were just really cute for small like putting these little gift bags in is what my ideal is for and they have again the plaid the red and green plaid and there's two of them the other one has the wood plank like that's on the old station wagon but look at the gift tags they are oversized and just very decorative and these are a dollar from dollar general as well as they had my buffalo plaid and you can see again they had the wonderful gift tags on these and the other opposite one is a green plaid. And all of this just melts into each other. It melts literally together. And you don't have to worry about something looking so out of place. You know, you can kind of put it together. And, you know, it creates interest of the eye, I should say. Okay. And the other one, the other gift that kind of goes into this and it's only because let me see I have so little of it so I'm going to put it with this I got this last year so this isn't this year from Target the Target dollar spot and it's in Winter Wishes it had the evergreen spruce with the cones and the other one was a green funnel pack it was one dollar and from this was from Dollar General. It had the tissue paper, five sheets for a dollar. And I got that for this. And I'm going to use this for a gift this year with the two bags. It's awesome. And this is eight treat bags with the hollies on it. And that will be for the treat bag. Because I theme frequently theme everything I do. And this allows me to get small amounts of gift presentation without spending a whole lot of money and giving my uh, guests um, something memorable. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this um, haul. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, notify by smashing that bell. You'll be regularly notified. I should say thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share if you're on social media. If you have any questions, cares, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the box below. I have um, other presentations in this uh, series. One is going to be um, the little red truck and the deer theme. I'm going to also show 
uh, more detailed food presentations if you like to be crafty and do something homemade. And I am going to do, I'm trying to do something different for children. Give a few ideas. I don't have children, little ones, but I have, I have grandnieces and nephews. Woo! <laughs> so I'll be showing you uh, some ideas I have for them, them also. All right, folks, that's it. This, oh, oh, and I'll also be doing, um, I'm going to try to do a presentation toppers using ornaments and embellishments that you might get out the crafting section. I'll try to show you how you can amp it up a little bit for a little bit of money. This is Loquatia One. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time, bye bye.